I decree from this altar you will not see shame. Your family will not see shame. You will not see attack. Your family will not see attack. You will not beg for food. My God will supply your needs. In the name of Jesus. By next week Tuesday you will return with testimonies. Say not even the angels in heaven. Know the time. The hour. Nobody. Don't forget today. Mark my word. Some of you before December, you will hear the news that your children have traveled abroad. Don't forget. Mark today. When you get home, mark today. Mark today. I stand by the authority of heaven. The door. I am seeing somebody. Your husband family, they are too wicked. I saw somebody they killed your husband and they are attacking your children. But hear my word by the power of God who I serve. Anyone fighting you and your children, today they die. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Bible said, if Jesus are men, they are not God. I came today to tell them in that family that those demonic men, they are men, they are not God. Anyone that say it will not be well with your children, anyone in that family, in that family here you are, in that company here you are, that say it will not be well with your children, that say it will not be well with you, Today, I bury them alive. I bury them alive. I bury them alive. You will hear the news of their death. Come on, if you believe, lay your hand my tongue down. God said, He has not made us to become meat in their mouths to devour. We are not their children. We are not their chicken. They can't toy with us. They can't stop us. The Bible said that the rod of the wicked does not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Any man, any woman in their coven, in their altar that is controlling your life, controlling your health, controlling your marriage, today they die by fire. 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 Anyone manipulating your marriage, manipulating your children. Today, your children are living zigzag because of one man in the family, because of one woman in the family. If I be God's son that I know that I am, today that man died. I said that man died. I said that woman died. I said that man died. I said that woman died. Come on, if you believe, let your hand my tongue We don't serve a dead God. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a mighty God. We serve the God of heaven and earth. Whatsoever the enemies have denied you, whatsoever they took from you, I don't know who you are, but... There was somebody in that family that used to help you. There was there's a man that you but for a long time he doesn't help you again. He doesn't even want to hear from you again. But mark my word, counting from today, before 30 days is over, that man will remember you. I say that man will remember you. My God will cause him to remember you. My God will cause that person to remember you. I say that person will remember you again. Come on, if you believe me, let your amen turn From today, any coven where they took your name to, any coven 
where they took anything that belonged to you to today let that coven catch fire i bring out your name from that coven i bring out your picture i bring out your image i bring out your health i bring out your marriage i bring out your children i command that coven to catch fire i command that coven to catch fire in the name of jesus thank you father thank you i am that i am in jesus christ mighty name we pray give jesus a resounding clap of rain please be seated for a few minutes be seated hallelujah my topic this evening is equipped for battle equipped for what there is no child of god that was not equipped every child of god was equipped the lord has given unto us every power that we need to fight war when the lord left us on this earth he knew that this earth is a battlefield and that was why he told us when he was living in john he said i will not leave you helpless he said i will not leave you empty because he knew the kind of world even when he was living he prayed for the disciples who were available at that time he said to god i am leaving this ones but i ask that you keep them protect them and help them by the power of your name why because he knows that this world is a battlefield There are diverse of weapons that God has given to us. And that is why when you read the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10, Ephesians 6, 10, finally be strong, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. There are many mights that is in his power that many christians haven't known that was why in the book of corinthians he also told us the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal, but they are strong and mighty in the pulling down of stronghold but the truth of the matter is that you have to be strong in this there are many weapons that we have been given to fight this war many but some of us does not know that they are weapon and that is why many of us are victims not because we don't have those weapons with us but because we don't know that they are weapons now we carry weapons and we are being dealt with we carry weapons and we are being destroyed somebody are you still here the weapons that we are giving to us is to fight the enemies every day there are things that chases us that we don't know every day every night there are things that happen while you are sleeping in your house in the night some people are doing work carrying out wickedness i have told you several times even in the streets like this there are many things that are flying in the street that you don't know as you are passing forces are passing arrows are passing you don't know there is one of my members we closed from fellow meeting he drove to his house as soon as he opened the son opened gate so he drove in as he was coming down from the car something he just saw something like a stone hit him on his forehead and fell on the ground because he's a tired ground so the thing now rook they look for that thing and look for that thing they didn't see it but because 
he is wise. He called that. He has not entered the house. He called me, Pastor. Just look at what just happened now. As I'm taking to you now, I am searching. We are all searching. We have moved the car. We have looked at everybody. We did not see it. And immediately from that moment, I began to vibrate. I said that arrow, go back to your center. It was the hand and the mouth of somebody that programmed it. It was also the mouth of another person that we deprogram it. I commanded, I said, come on. I said that the road of the wicked does not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Another man has no right over another man's child. This one is not your child. This one is God's child under my care. Every arrow, go back. When I finished, I said, enter your house. And they entered house. And that was the end of that matter. Many times. There was one, la one school. There was one lady that teach in one school close to my church. He was in class teaching like this. Talking, talking, talking. She said she felt something. You know, there are some certain times you will feel as if something touched you. Or maybe something. It might be mild though. It might be mild. Like stone, like stone or like something to touch you, but or fair, and you will not look at you, you will not see anything. Many times you must you can feel something as if something touch you, but when you look, you are not seeing anything, you will continue like that. That was how the, the lady was teaching in the class, writing on the board, suddenly felt like small stone touched. Ah, she looked, she did not see anything, she continued in the night, she slept. When she woke up in the morning, the hand is as big as this. But the only thing she could remember was that yesterday in the class, something touched the hand. Carried it one day, two days, three days. And she didn't know what to do. She began to use medications, go to hospital. So the sister-in-law, not to the please come and see my pastor. This thing might not be ordinary. Come. And she came. And I looked at her. She told me everything that happened. And I placed hand on her. And I commanded the arrow. I said, go back to where you came from. And I commanded that that hand be healed. By the next day, the hand came down and became normal. We are living in a wicked world. And for you to survive, you must also use the weapon that the Lord has given to you. Church, are you hearing me? You must use the weapon. The Lord did not leave us empty. He did not make us allow make us to be toy in the hands of these people. He equipped us. He gave us every power that we need. And one of the weapon, the number one weapon that He gave to us is prayer. Somebody say prayer. I've told you many times in this church, in this fellowship. I say, if you cannot see beyond the ordinary, if you cannot see beyond here, maybe as you are here now, you are not seeing your house. You are not seeing what the enemy is doing in your house. You sleep, you cannot see that they are holding meeting and mentioning your name. And you cannot hear strange voices that this is what they are talking concerning you. I say, your next name should be prayer. She have told you before. If you cannot see, you cannot hear, then let your next name become prayer point. Because your prayer can enter what you cannot see. Your prayer can enter where you cannot hear their voice. Because when you wake up in the morning, probably they have had meeting concerning you in their coven, and they have pieces you, and they are waiting for you to manifest. And you just wake up that morning, and you began to pray. Anywhere they ganged up against me this night, scattered by thunder. Anything you did concerning me, I decree that they scatter. Your prayer point will scatter them. They will finish doing it; will not work. They will be confused. They be confused. So that is why a Christian must be a prayer person. A Christian must be a prayer person every day, in the night, even if it's 10 minutes, even if it's 15 minutes, even if it's 20 minutes. A Christian is supposed to wake up in the night to pray. 
not just prayer yes you need to tell god thank you father thank you thank you for everything thank you as i sleep thank you as i sleep is good that one is very very good but let your prayer not end there because while you were sleeping there are some people that are having all night because of you you didn't know go and read the bible he said when men slept he said some men went and started sowing evil seed against the man so why you are sleeping some people no sleep so my so my using perfume you are sleeping in a, i have seen one person one one man in his house sleeping another man barefoot tie wrapper and was walking around his house and was making enchantments now you get that why he got up he was hearing some voice so fear he now looked from the window he saw a man walking around the compound you have not seen anything walking around the compound god just helped him to see there are some as they enter the blue breeze like this everybody they sleep and they will carry out all their wickedness that is why when you wake up also you don't need somebody to tell you that they came or they did not come when they come one thing i have told you i have told you many times i say if you wake up in the morning and you start praying anybody ganging up against me die i say if there is nobody ganging up against you is that prayer a sin no so for take for instance truly somebody gang up they gang up against you and you did not pray and they will kill you so it's better you pray whether they are there or they are not there pray pray just imagine how can how can i was coming back from travel today and then the people were in the same car as we go to isla zaba you know that isla zaba is somehow healing it's on here so if you if you are there you will see like all the wars about have you experienced it you will see roof 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 i say look at i say this is the same as about some people will come and live and grow old look at all this whole roof their own is not inside look at all the car that is driving their own is not inside whereas there are some persons one person have 15 20 30 and that is why you see why i tell you I not agree. I not agree. I told you before. I said I did not escort anybody to this life. I no escort anybody. He said, "Take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God." Now the word of God. Now we say they cut them pia pia. The word of God. The word of God. There is nothing that is as sharp as the word of God. The Bible says that the word of God is sharper than two edged sword. Dividing and sunday he they cut left and right. There was one day in this fellowship. I don't know how many of us remember. I came out to pray and I said, I saw a lady. I saw you. I saw they have prepared coffee for you. And let's everybody pray. I don't know exactly who you are, but pray. Everybody say pray. Everybody say pray. And that day, Tuesday, we close. By Wednesday, the lady was driving. She testified. I don't know how many of us remember. And a phone, phone called her, her, a number called her, and she picked it. Called her name. Mentioned her name and called her name. And the lady, the man was speaking Yoruba. And the lady hears Yoruba, but not too much. So she said, she was not saying that there are three women that brought your name here and brought coffee and said they should kill you. So at that instant, she needed to pack and hear where. And also get to somebody who hear deep in Yoruba to hear everything so you just say papa just hold on i will call you i will call you i'm driving line but it's okay by the time the lady drove got to a point where he could see somebody that he knows that he has you and pack and now call the man the man said who are you he said i'm the one you just called now you told me that, that. he said i don't know you she said it here now he said i don't know you now if not prayer and the word of god because what happened there 
was the word of God who, that went ahead of those three women to that native daughter. Because ordinarily, how somebody will take bring money can give you. You now begin to call the person. He called the person name, call the name where, tell him where he come from. After some minutes, he denied saying no call him. The weapons of our warfare. There are even some of us here. There are sometimes something will happen to us. Take for instance, maybe as you are walking, you are walking, you now hit your leg on something and you almost fall. As soon as we almost fall in, some of us we call their grandmama name. Some of us, some of us say, hey, well, name, oh, name, 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 name. Some, some say, nah, they, hey, well, nah, Some we call them pity men. Those who came from that place. Some we come their deity. It's because you don't know who you are and the weapon that was given to you. Anytime, take for instance, sudden thing is about to happen or something thing is happening. And as you are falling, you shout Jesus. That Jesus will help you not to fall. That name is supposed to be your mouth every day. A lot have the weapon of the name of Jesus. But many doesn't have the weapon of the Holy Ghost. The weapon of the Holy Ghost is the strongest weapon. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost can make you disappear. Holy Ghost. The fee call your name now. Invoke you. They want to do anything, you disappear. Holy Ghost. Do you know that it was the Holy Ghost that entered inside grave and brought out Jesus? It was Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, even if they tie you for Kovun, tie your children, Holy Ghost will enter inside Kovun. When they, all of them sit down for the Kovun, Holy Ghost will bring your picking out and bring you Awaka Komot. That Holy Spirit is also called the angel of his presence. When they tie Peter, when they put Peter inside prison in the book of Acts of the Apostles, they enter one gate, lock up, second gate, third gate, come put Peter, come tie him. Holy Ghost enter gate where they lock. Enter prison where they lock three places. He enter. He meet Peter where Peter sit down. He said, Peter, get up. As soon as he said, Peter, got up, the chain where they tie Peter lose. He said, Peter, follow me. Now Peter, follow him. As soon as he reached where gate reach, gate, the, the gate opened by himself. He passed. Peter passed. Gate closed back. He reached the second gate. He no touch him. Gate open. He passed. Peter passed. He reached the third the same thing. You see Holy Ghost. Any Christian we don't know Holy Ghost goes so far. Because there are many things we've seen Holy Ghost now in the Holy Spirit is one of the weapons that is given to you. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, he said, and you will receive power. Afterwards, afterwards, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You will receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You receive power. Why many Christians are living without power? It's because they did not have the Holy Ghost. And they did not recognize the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Don't forget. We will stop here for today. Next week, we will continue. And I will take our time and I'll give you all the scriptural verses it's because I was rushing. Next week, make sure you be in church on Tuesday. Invite your friends and, uh, and uh, well wishes. I stand on this altar and I make this decree 
The counsel of your enemies will never come to pass in your life. The counsel of your enemies will never come to pass in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Evil news will not be heard in your home. Bad news will not be heard concerning you. Bad news will not be heard in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus. With your eyes you will see the destructions of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the hand of God be a covering over you. Let the hand of God be a covering over your household. Over your children. Over your businesses. Over your jobs. Over your families. Over your properties. Over your homes. In the mighty name of Jesus. This season you will not beg. You will not cry. The God of heaven who I serve will supply all your need. In the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power of God, by next week, Tuesday, you will return back with testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Seven glorious hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. God bless you. See you on Tuesday.